hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel so if you are seeing the screen then you know which video we're gonna continue yes today we're gonna continue our application video today i will be showing you how to apply for university of segan for the course electrical engineering so in this i will concise this into two videos and in the first video i will just go through the same requirement analysis from the university segan website then we will register for that particular web page because we have already registered so many times so i will just go through quickly then we will directly log in select the degree then fill in some of the details so this is what planned for today's video where we will be doing for university of Sagan for the course electrical engineering if you are new to this channel and you are watching this as a first video then i please suggest you guys to go and visit all our requirement analysis application video of any other colleges and also the complete application videos so you can also look into your specific colleges and courses please fill in the application like i have filled in so that you will have a higher chance of getting an admission for the same college i'm not showing you how to apply for two or three uh, courses that's because if i show one college with one particular course as an example then the most of the application procedure would be same for other co uh, courses also because they are using the same medium of application procedure so that's the reason they are using the same website where campo portal or any of other portals so that's the reason i suggest you guys to check on other courses that i have done for university of segan then you could have also applied but yeah you guys so many of you guys asked for it that's the reason i'm making a dedicated video but in future if i don't make any dedicated videos for all courses in one college then please make sure that you see the other course but for the same college then you will also have an idea how to apply then uh, before any delay we can get started then you can directly search for university of segan so once you clicked on university of segan you can go inside their official website so this is their official website of university of segan so then here you can click on study programs once you clicked on study program you can hear courses of study which we are doing and you can click on master degree programs which are offering so in the IA under match master degree programs there are faculty one two three and four and five but our faculty or our faculty would come under na natural and technical science uh, faculties so we are interested in electrical engineering which are both taught in german and english okay and here we just also said that it is not a restricted admission for semester course summer and winter both possible then language of instruction is german also english i will tell you why because the master degree program electrical engineering aims to specialize in three uh, fields so if you are choosing automation technology then it is mandatory to you apply with german language certificate because that cannot be done in english for this you need at least c1 or p2 level of german in order to get admission for this particular uh, specialization but if you want to do communication technology or electronic design and technology then english is enough you will be directly applied then here they have mentioned the deadline is uh, 1st of uh, december to february 28th so i'm making video on 26th so today i will make a half video and 28th there will be a second video so you will have yeah 28th on the day to watch this video and apply other than that we can just go through some of the admission requirements so once in as a rule only ones who have bachelor degree in electrical engineering can be admitted to the master degree program in case of hardship the responsible examination board decides on a case case to case basis so that is all other than that there is nothing important then you can click uh, directly click on apply now for msc in electrical engineering so once you clicked on apply directly you will be sent to university of segan website where they have mentioned the application of our degree program bachelor master degree program if you have uh, if you are applying for master degree program please apply via their application portal which is their unesco so this we have already done it so I will take a moment and I will show you how to fill in this registration form but we have already filled in and we have already have a username and password but I will show you this then I will directly log into uh, account that we have created. So these are the information that you have to fill in the registration form for Unis Unison. So here you just have to fi fill in the surname, first name, gender, uh, date of birth, place of birth and country of birth. So these are just normal personal details that they have to, that you have to give. Then also you have to fill in your contact details. So contact information usually would be where you are living as of now, which will be in India. Then uh, other than that, you just need to give in your email address for which you will get your user ID and there will be a link to activate your account. Then after that, you will 
use your password to log in and next times then you can choose your password then do a security question then you can click on register but as soon as you register click on register then you will receive an email from uni uh, unison saying that welcome uh, with your name you have received your data then this is your username and password is your chosen password so click the link below use your username and password then your account will be activated so this is what you will get once you click on register okay but we have already have a account so we will directly fill in the details that we have so i will give my username then password then we can click on login so once we clicked on login we are already inside our unison application so we can view my application so once we view our application we will have our uh, enmit application which we have already prepared for winter semester 2025 so winter term 2025 2026 there is already one request but now we are already making a second request the second uh, request would be for electrical engineering so you can click on add request click on master degree then subject would be our electrical engineering then major study would be communication technology or electrical design and technology so if they are giving both then it's fine because both are taught in english so we, we don't have an option so which one you're gonna choose i'll choose for communication technology but if you're applying for electronics uh, electronics design and technology you can also choose that this is the only difference to the application for other so that you just have to change it that's it then once as soon as you clicked on it then this uh, uh, subject indicator would be major enrollment is full time uh, form of study would be consecutive master degree then subject would be electrical engineering uh, com com uh, communication technology so in which semester you want to start it is first semester always then that type of admission would be admission uh, restricted so all other things would be filled automatically based on upon what you have filled with communication technology. But you can also look into or click into I marks and look for the what that does it mean like full time or major subject and why it is selected for semester and other things. If you feel it is not uh, it is not correct, then you can also change to other options. Then you can click on next. Once you clicked on next, here you just have to verbally confirm that yes, you guys can use my data to process and you can also this is just um, nothing but like uh, terms and condition acceptance and other things then you can click on yes you know we are making a video for electrical engineering but in between when we clicked on yes or uh, when we were applying after we fill in the uh, evaluation of application data once we clicked on next it directly took it to the uh, bachelor degree details having a confusion because it is happening or it is coming due to because we have already filled in the entrance qualification when we are filling emnit that's the reason it might be not visible there that's the reason i didn't wanted to take any chance that's why i wanted to also add in the general qualification of university entrance board that we usually fill in which is our second puc details or 10th and 12th details that's the reason i'm just uh, adding this bit of uh, other videos here so that it will be completed if it is not asking then no worries if it asks then please fill in like how i have filled in here entrance qualification entrance qualification is nothing but the university entrance qualification that you have done so for university entrance qualification you have to mention your 12th standard because that is the thing that you have done before you go for university that's the reason you have to fill in your 12th standard or puc uh, whichever you have done here acquired country is abroad the country where you have done is india then a university entrance qualification would be generally a qualification for university entrance board the average grade of your university entrance qualification is one why i have given one means the please the grade must be between one and four if you have already have a grade and you know the job and gpa if not then please enter one then they will convert by themselves that's the reason we have to give one they will convert by themselves then grade of date of your entrance exam qualification that will be your 7-1-2016. This is when, when you have finished your second PUC. Then you can click on next. After that, it should appear this page. After that, you can click on next. So next, you will have to do a bachelor degree electrical engineering. So you need to have a bachelor, bachelor of science degree or equivalent to apply master of electrical engineering. So here, you just have to fill in the your bachelor degree details. Now, uh, we will stop here for the first part of the video so in the next part of the video i will fill in the bachelor degree details then i will fill in all other details and attach all necessary documents then we can also submit the application this is what we're gonna make in the second part of the video where we will fill in the bachelor degree details and fill in all normal documentation that they need for the admission so see you in the next video until then take care bye bye